Yes, I had asparagus for breakfast, but I also wanted to make it for lunch for work today. So I'm heading to work, I'm running a little late. So I gotta put mascara on at, at a red light. But yeah, I will see you guys later. Yes, I know I need to brush my hair. I'm gonna put it in on, don't worry. Don't worry. So I just got home from work. I just changed. I drank some water and I'm going to go to the gym because my hair's dirty. And I'm probably gonna wash it tonight. So let's get one last workout in and yeah. Guys, not only did I go to the gym and I didn't think I would be able to do much, but I did weights and then I ran two miles. You guys might remember that I haven't ran two miles since the other time I told you guys. Last time I ran, I only ran one mile. And then in other days I did elliptical. So this week I have run, or ran, I've run five miles total. It's not much if you're a runner, but it's a lot for me. I cannot wait to take a shower. I didn't bother like taking my makeup off when I got home other than my lipstick because I knew after the gym I'd have to wash my face again. And I try not to like overwash my face because I know that that's bad for you. Like bad for your skin as well. So I figured I'll just go to the gym and then I'll shower after. So time to go home. Yay! Okay, I haven't showered just yet. I did baby wipe my face off and ignore my hair. I just took it down. But I just wanted to show you guys this box I got from, from Influencer. Influencer. I want to always want to say influencer, but it's influencer. I can never say it right. So this is, I think, I believe this is their Playa Vox box, whatever that means. But the box itself is super, super cute. This is not sponsored, but obviously, if you've ever heard of influencer, influencer, I can't say that. You know that it's product sent for free. I haven't paid for any of this. I just got selected to receive this box. Well, presentation. Not that great, not that exciting. I mean, come on. I could have at least got some like crinkle cut paper in there, you know? You know, what ifs. Okay. I feel like this was like a box that like someone went into like their warehouse of stuff and was like, okay, we gotta clear this part out. Like we gotta clear all of this out. I'm gonna grab these items, might have done it blindfold, put it in a box. First item I pull out, Frank's Red Hot Original Cayenne Pepper Sauce. Not sure what this has to do with the beach. Am I like not in on some trend where this is like a face mask or like a hair mask or something? I mean, okay. You know, I've been needing to buy hot sauce, so okay. They also include swab smoothing, with cocoa butter and shea. I believe this is just like a moist skin moisturizer. Okay, this makes sense. You know, you wanna be all smooth and stuff. And then they included Colgate Optic White Toothpaste, like a deluxe sample size, which, you know, I'm actually pretty pumped about getting this because I believe I've com completely run out of my deluxe size of toothpaste that I've been taking on trips, so, Instead of the night before me realizing that my trip. Okay. And then they included these Eva NYC Purse Perfect Hair Towelette with Argan Oil and Omega 3, 6, 7, and 9. Tame sprays, smooth flyaways, and refreshes on the go. Hmm. I mean, I guess this is kind of cool because what I was going to say was couldn't you just put a little bit of oil on your palms and get the same effect? But I guess you'd have to travel with the oil, so this is, I guess, good because it's a travel pack. And then they included a coupon for sour cream. I'm telling you, like, this is the most random thing ever. Two dollars off at UINYC. I mean, this was clearly intentional because they wrote out all the, the items on the back. Ooh, Daisy Sour Cream. Retail price, two dollars and seventy-nine cents. If you've never heard of Influencer, don't judge it based off of this box. They usually send some really great stuff. I wouldn't have wasted your time if I thought it was gonna be like this. Sorry guys, sorry. Let's just, let's just forget that it ever happened. Let's do that. Okay. The other thing I got is something that I've mentioned a few times about doing. 
and I gave in. I gave in because I was just, I needed to. I knew I would never forgive myself if I didn't do this and the product didn't exist anymore. You guys know I already own this. So this is gonna be a backup. Oh, it's so beautiful, untouched, it's so beautiful. So nice. This has been in every favorites video since I got it. I I'm telling you guys, I, I love this, I love this. I literally wear it every single day, every single day. Unless I'm purposely trying to use something else. When I don't want to think, it always goes to this. And every single shade in there is incredible. And while I know how brands are, they'll say something's limited edition and then they'll bring it back and all of that. But this is this palette is so good that I'm not going to risk that. And it's this is not sponsored. They didn't send it to me. I bought both of them myself, full price. And initially I got it because I wanted to support Nicole Guerrero, but I thought like I wouldn't be able to wear most of those shades because they look too dark, but I wear every single one of those shades and you guys know I'm super pale. So it says that it's limited edition, so it might sell out, which is why I wanted a backup because I knew the moment it sold out, I would drop it on the floor, it would get damaged in travel or whatever, and I would be devastated. Like I literally would be devastated. I might like down the line, if it's still available, get a third backup. Like I'm telling you, I have so many highlighter palettes, I have so many highlight pans, and this is the best thing I've ever tried. I have other Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kits and I hate them, I don't touch them. I got one of them and I never bought another one again because it was so horrible. And every time I reach for it, I'm like, what am I wasting my time with? This is the best highlight palette that I've ever tried or gotten or whatever from any brand. So you guys might think I'm crazy for getting a bag up, but when you come across a product that's that good, you just never know when it's either going to sell out if it's limited edition or if it's not limited edition, when they're going to decide to discontinue it without telling you. You know, I'm crazy, I know. I've got yesterday's vlog uploading. It's super, super short, which I apologize for, but I was working all day and then I took a nap and then like, stuff happened. Oh, I also got the Wet n Wild, like unicorn, I think it's their unicorn set or whatever. So I don't know if I should just do an unboxing video for that, like a little quick unboxing video, or if I should just do it on here, I don't know. Also, I really appreciate everyone's feedback on whether or not I should do the PR unboxings as well on my main channel. Some of you guys said yes, yeah. some of you guys said that you didn't really care either way, and some of you guys said, why don't you wait and do like the PR unboxing later on and do like a mini review of the products. So that might be what I do. The only concern with that is that, you know, a lot of people like to see all the packaging that comes with it, but if you guys are cool with not doing that, what I can just do is I'll just keep like a list of everything that's Actually, it's probably a good idea. I'll keep a list of everything that I'm sent for that month, whether it's one item or, well, if it's like one item, then maybe I wouldn't do it for that month. But for the most part, it's usually at least, you know, a handful of items. And then I can do a video on those products. I'll, I'll use them for a month and then I'll do a video on those products. But I just have to keep track. Cause a lot of times I'll take the photos and it goes into my, my like makeup storage and stuff like that. And then, you know, I lose track of what was sent to me, what wasn't sent to me and all of that. So I just gotta keep, kind of an inventory of that. Yeah, I think I might take some product photos. I might do that. I feel so accomplished. I worked all day long, my longest day is Saturday, and then I went to the gym. Mm -hmm. And you guys are probably like, oh my God, why are you not showering immediately? I probably should shower immediately, but I usually like to like cool down, eat something or whatever before I jump in the shower because I don't like to take cold showers and I, when I'm so overheated like that, I can't take a hot shower. It makes me so uncomfortable. I don't know if I'm the only one that's like that. I don't know, I'm weird. Because I also don't like to take, like it's not like I can take like an overheated like hot shower and be okay with the air conditioning being on. Like I cannot shower with AC on. I don't know, I just, I guess I don't like big temperature fluctuations. Whatever. Yes, I'm weird. I got another quirk. So I'm pretty much kind of like cooled down at this point, like dried off basically. So I'll probably jump in the shower now, wash my hair. No, I'm not good. I probably could go another day because today was day one of like ponytail wear. So I could probably wear my hair in a ponytail again tomorrow, but you know what? I think eight days, eight days is good. I think we did good. That's usually longer than I make it. And that's like kind of nasty because there's like sweat all up in here. And I only had to use dry shampoo yesterday. I didn't even put dry shampoo today. My hair doesn't really smell bad. Can't really smell, smell my scalp. But well, who's gonna be smelling my scalp anyways? Okay, I'm gonna take a shower and stop being ridiculous and silly. Uh, and uh, I'll be 
back. So I got ready for bed and I put my retainer in. Forgot to end off this vlog. It's 11 o'clock. That's, it may not be the time I fall asleep, but it's the time I get in bed. I'm hoping that eventually I will fall asleep at 11 o'clock or before 12. I'm not sure what time I'm gonna get up tomorrow. I feel like I should keep some momentum and try to get up at least semi early, but I know myself, I know it's gonna be really hard to get up when I can sleep in. So we'll see. If my body wakes me up, then I'll, I'll try my best to get out of bed. But since my hair is clean, I'm not gonna like jump and go like to the gym and do something crazy. I don't know, we'll see. Until then, I will see you guys tomorrow.